guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so the World Tournament rewards are out. So we have the extra copies of the World Tournament reward physical Goten. I did finish in the top 2,000, so I got the four copies I needed to open up his paths, rainbow him. Uh, and as you can see, once the World Tournament was done, um, I didn't really have any units that I needed to prioritize link leveling, because all the units that are going to be getting their easy A's during the anniversary and stuff like that, um, they're already fully link leveled for me, so I thought I'd stick him on the team, see what we managed to get his links up to by the time the rewards came out, and then we could do the rainbow showcase. So the Innocence is still at 5, but we've got 3 at level 7 and 2 at level 8, so that should be pretty interesting. Uh, his leader skill is terrible. Um, I don't expect they think anyone's going to use him as a leader, but I still don't understand why they would give a new unit such a mid leader skill, because... Physical type's key to attack and defense 50%. So not even HP. Like, I know 50% is a reasonable, like, level for a free-to-play unit, but it doesn't even give any HP, which seems very weird. But his super attack, unfortunately, is just a basic Kamehameha animation. Uh, he raises attack for one turn and does supreme damage to the enemy. And then his passive, he is a New King style unit. He does change STR orbs to physical, which is good, because units that change specific types of orbs, it means you can plan ahead on the turn before they're going to be on rotation so you can leave a bunch of uh, str and physical orbs on the field which is good he gets 20 percent attack and defense per key sphere obtained which is a pretty good buff but he also gets an additional five percent uh, when there is another bond of friendship ally attacking in the same turn so 25 percent per orb is pretty good um, and then he also gets an additional attack and defense 100% when performing a super attack. So, despite the fact he has no defensive utilities, his, his only defense is going to come from the number of orbs that you pick up and then the buff that he gets on super, because his super attack effect is only to raise his attack for one turn. But he could unironically put out some pretty decent numbers, and with this basis to work off of, um, his eventual awakening could actually be pretty solid. So I gave him an even mix of additional and crit because, I mean, an additional super, he'll obviously do a little bit of extra damage, um, but he doesn't have any real other reason why he'd want an additional. He doesn't have any built-in chance to crit, so, you know, I thought I'd balance it out quite nicely. And, of course, he has level 3 dodge. So we're running him on a hybrid Saiyans team. We're running double ultimate Gohan leads, STR1, because, obviously, if one of them is floating, they at least provide a little bit of support. So this is his first turn. As you can see, it's turn 2, so we have to put him in slot 1. Uh, one of his best link partners is this STR Pan. They're going to share four links once Kamehameha is activated. This is one of the only downsides for this guy on Global is he's severely lacking really good link partners. One of his better link partners, I guess it's still four links, is the AGL Kid Gohan. But he's not on Bond of Friendship, whereas Pan is. And that is pretty important because an extra 5% per orb. I mean, we're able to pick up 13 orbs on this turn. So that's an extra, what, 50, 65% that we're getting because there's a Bond of Friendship unit on the rotation. So start of turn with the support from uh, Ultima Gohan. He's only got 61k defense. But then as soon as we do this, boom, 13 orbs, 195k defense. And remember, he's then going to get 100% when performing a super attack, which as far as I'm aware... When it's as part of the passive, and it's a percentage buff when performing a super attack, it takes into account all of the other buffs. So, as far as I'm aware, it's 100% of literally the number that we're seeing here. Which means he's going to be just under 400k defense after he super attacks. Which is pretty crazy. Now, unfortunately, we had to put him in slot 1, because obviously, well, I didn't one turn this guy on turn 1. Which means we uh, don't want to kill him by accident with Pan. Um... But yeah, I mean, this early on, since it's only stage one, double digits from the super. And then 3.6 million. Uh, that's with no attack support on the rotation. So that is pretty good. Um, and then let's go ahead and do this. So what we want to do ideally here, like I said, is we can plan ahead the turn. As long as we don't take out Videl here, which we very much might. Um, so we can do this. And look at this. We've left only physical and STR orbs all clustered at the bottom there. So, if Videl does survive this turn, which, again, I'm not sure how likely that is, especially if uh, Gohan starts throwing out additionals. We've only got an additional normal, so maybe? But, again, the uh, GT uh, Goten and Trunks 
potentially can get multiple supers as well. Yeah, no, she's dead. <laughs> so um, you can try and plan ahead with these units that change specific orbs, but obviously sometimes you're going to get into a situation like this. In harder events, or as we get a little bit further into the uh, stage, we won't just be one-turning every single uh, phase. So let's see what we get here. We do have the support Gohan. Who I decided to bring because obviously 50% support for uh, super physical. And then he's changing orbs as well. So they don't have any extra links. Okay. Um, although, let's see. Because that's 9. That's 8. If I do this, is it going to make it easier? Pan's not going to get a super. I don't think that really is going to change much of anything, is it? Let's try it anyway and see what happens. Can we beat 9 or 8? Yes, we can. Okay, so that was worth doing. <laughs> All right, so 11 orbs. Let's see what we get here. So 11 orbs, that puts us to 175k defense, which means he's going to be at about 350 after super attacking, which pretty good. Um, obviously, as a nuking style unit, his one major downside is the fact that if you are unable to pick up many orbs, then obviously he's not going to look very impressive. But 3.6 with the attack support. So basically the same as last time. With two less orbs, which makes sense, right? Because that's 50%. So two less orbs, 50% less. But we had a 50% attack buff thanks to this uh, Gohan. So we may actually be able to... I guess I probably should have bought like an orb-changing item. But I don't usually like to bring those into events. Even when we are showcasing nuking-style units. Because obviously, it's not a very realistic representation. Like if you did want to use this Goten in an actual real event, especially one that's even remotely difficult, you're not going to be bringing uh, an orb-changing item. So, uh, we'll see how we get on here. We got double STR all Magohans on this rotation, um, and they're getting the full support from each other. Oh, and we get an additional super as well. So, we're probably uh, we're probably taking out the uh, Super Saiyan, great Saiyan man here. But, wow, okay, yeah, let's just uh, go off, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, see you later, uh, Gohan. And then let's just move on to the next phase then. Um, so what have we got here? We got the 40% support again, thanks to the um, GT Goten and Trunks. They do have Saiyan Warrior Race. So let's see. We can't get a lot of orbs on this turn. So I guess this is a good example of one of the slightly worst turns. We can get five orbs. So we pick up five orbs. That gives us... 100k defense, so 200 post super, which is not that great, and that's five orbs. So the thing is, to be fair, like across the board, we often complain when units have a requirement where they have to pick up six orbs, and um, this Goten with five orbs, not looking obviously anywhere near as impressive, especially with a 40% support unit on the rotation. Um, still able to take double digits from this guy, but... I thought the World Tournament um, stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history would be an appropriate one to do, considering it is the uh, World Tournament, like, teen Goten. Um, but I think, even though this is obviously a bit further in, considering who the enemy is, pretty sure it's a weaker stage. This one might be as well. So, chances are we probably uh, one-turn this stage, too. So, I guess we can... I can't avoid picking up... Um, any of the orbs, any physical or STR orbs. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, on the off chance that we don't one turn him, we'll have a nice uh, selection of orbs at the bottom there. But like I said, I think these two phases, even though they are a little bit further into the event, I think these two stages are a bit weak. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> bit weaker, you know, just get one shot. It's all good. Uh, and now we got Mighty Mask. We do have type advantage now, though. No attack support. Uh, not a great orb setup. I could do this. That should help, right? That'll drop those down. Yep. So six orbs. We do at least have the defensive support here from Ulma Gohan. So 127k. So that puts him up to 250 after supering, which is not too bad. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so all in all, I mean, we're not going to see much crazier numbers out of this guy. Um, the only thing I am kind of hoping for is the next rotation, we have the physical support Gohan back again. So if we can get a nice setup on the turn before, then we can obviously try and make sure we get a ton of orbs. 
But it all depends, because obviously the opposite rotation with the double uh, all Gohans is uh, able to deal quite a lot of damage. So there is obviously the possibility that they take out uh, Mighty Mask here. Especially because they link up so well, so it's not like we can deliberately avoid super attacks with them or anything. Um, and then, yeah, we have the support from these guys on the rotation. Because I can do this. Uh, we get rid of the AGL orbs as well. And then we have all of these physical orbs. There's a S random STR orb in the middle. So we do this. So next turn would be looking pretty good for orbs for Goten. But yeah, with the 40% support from the GT Go Bros, I feel like there's no way we don't finish off. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> finish off Mighty Mask this turn. So, but yeah, overall, Goten, he's looking like he could be okay. His biggest problem is the lack of good uh, link partners that are also on the Bond of Friendship category. Because that's what he obviously really needs to have around him in order to get, like, all of these buffs. So, wow, Pan not looking so great on this turn. Nine. Yeah, we'll put Pan in slot one because I want to do this. Drop these down. Oh, wow, that we actually uh, ended up slightly worse off. We can still get eight orbs, and we've got 50% support. So, we should be able to get the Dokon attack here with Goten as well. Let's go. Okay. Well, let's see what we are going to be looking like here. Uh, we haven't managed to get... We didn't really manage to top one of the earlier turns. Like, the fact that we managed to get a turn where he would have been at, like, 400k defense post super attack is pretty crazy, but... Obviously, that is how nuking style units work when you're actually able to pick up orbs. So, his attack stat here is what? Just over 3 million. Just over. So, you know, at the end of the day, World Tournament unit, free-to-play reward card, doesn't have a TUR Awakening. The numbers that he's putting out are somewhat impressive. And there's the additional super following the crit as well. So, that is actually a pretty good turn for him for the Dokon attack, actually getting a crit. And then uh, getting the additional super as well. So he's definitely not looking too bad in this particular setup. And this is a fairly realistic team, right? Because the easy A STR Pan, she's pretty good. Probably not running her in the red zone, but she's pretty decent. Um, so, I mean, this Goten is okay. But you really do have to run him on like a very specific team setup. And then, of course, you uh, have to make sure you get a decent number of orbs because he is a nuking style unit. I wonder if he could do the uh, punching bag um, event. You'd have to have, like, all your orb changes and everything and get, like, you know, the full field of physical orbs. Whilst one of those units also being a uh, bond of friendship unit. So, I think just the setup alone that would be required would be uh, pretty awkward. But... Let's try this out, shall we? We'll do this as the final turn. So we'll do this. Any more physical orbs? No. So we got nine. So that puts us at, yeah, 150. So basically 300k defense. So not bad. Let me know what you guys think of the World Tournament Go 10. Did you get any copy, extra copies of him? Did you just go the 23 million and get that one copy? Did you get any from your rewards? Let me know what you think of him down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.